let's just go through the normal procedure checklist and uh, get this um, simulator started. Alright, check parking brake on, fuel circuit breakers over here, all in, cabin temperature mode is off, vent blower on auto, bleed valves open, condition levers, fuel cutoff, prop, high RPM, power levers at idle, landing gear lever is down, microphone switch is up. Alright, turn the battery on and we should get some lights come up. Here we go. Okay, now, stall warning test. And we should get our stall warning in here and our audio. Mount out of lights. There they all are. Get them going. Gear down, indicator lights are on. Rotating beacon on. Aux transfer override switches are on auto. Standby boost pumps on and we should get fuel pressure. Yes we do. Alright, we've got plenty of fuel, that's fine. Okay, let's start. Start number one. Okay. Ignition on. We watch for turbine come up. 10% and introduce some fuel. There she is firing up. ITT is going up. Going up quite high and coming back again. That's fine. Oil pressure. Oil temperature is okay. Right. Turn the starter off and turn the generator on. And the we haven't started the left one yet, but the right one just went off. I'll just verify that again. Turn the right generator off. And any error like that comes up, flashes the light at you, and cancel it, check what it's doing, and correct the fault. Okay. Alright, left engine start, and as we turn the left engine start on, we'll have a look and we should see the left ignition on uh, light come up on here. There we go. And she's rolling. Uh, turbine RPM comes up and up and up. 10% introduce fuel. There we go, she's a light. ITT's come up. Now the propeller's starting to rotate. Okay. We check oil pressure and temperature. Turn the ignition switch off and turn the left generator on. Yes, we have success. Right, um, we've still got one one alarm up on here, which is the inverter is, is out. Um, we have the inverter switch on here. We will check that inverter one works. You can actually hear it humming in the background and it turns that off. Turn back to no inverter, we get alarm. And check number two inverter. Works. Back off, gets alarm. Okay, we'll select inverter one. Master avionics power on. Okay. External lights is required. Okay, well let's put on the nab lights and we'll see if it turns on all our backlighting as well at the same time. Just check that so we can see that. Alright, environmental controls all over here, they're all sorted out. Um, the cabin sign is, um, stick it on to fasten seatbelts. Instruments, check that we've got everything sort of running okay. Both the engines are fine. Brakes are okay, gyro is okay because the ADI came up, that's fine. Um, check the autopilot, we'll just set heading on and altitude on just to make sure we get them. We do, turn the autopilot on, check that it works, okay, and it's trying to trim and turn the autopilot back off. 
and we get an alarm and an indication here, autopilot disconnect. Okay, electric trim. Make sure that our electric trim on here operates. There we go. And we'll set it for takeoff trim. Flaps, there's the flaps lever, flaps gauge down here, unlock the flap onto there, flight control, it's cheap we have flight controls, and all free, engine anti-icing, we have our engine anti-icing down here, turn that on and you'll see we get our engine anti-icing come up on here and we lose a bit of power on the engines as well. But not an icy day, we won't need it. Check propeller feathering, take that back. Uh, this is the um, fine pitch, coarse pitch and if we push it sideways into feather we can see the, the prop feathering into here. Feathering works on that one, and feathering works on that one. Okay, back up to full fine for takeoff. Double check your fuel quantity, no problem. Cross flow, cross flow is in the off position, so each each fuel tank will feed its own engine. Right, double check before takeoff that we have bleed airs valves open. We checked that before, but we will verify that that they are open. Nancy had lights extinguished or considered. They're all extinguished. Prop synchrophaser will leave off at the moment. Engine icing, which we just test tested, will leave off. Strobe lights will be on the runway. Okay, we'll turn them on. Landing lights, when we get takeoff clearance. And we will set auto engine auto ignition on in case we have turbulence or a surge or anything. And we'll also turn down here, which will be hard to see, is the auto feather arm. Okay, everything's quite normal. So, we're ready for a takeoff.